Hey, I know I should stop buying my shit bags, so I bought three more. They were $20 each from a charity shop. So all of it went to charity in the end. So there's four minifigs in there, three bags. So $60 all up in the end. So hopefully I get a few good minifigs and it's actually worth my money. So without further ado, we'll get into the first bag. I'll choose this one. So it looks like there's some woman in there. But we'll pull them out. Oh, no way. It stood right up. Maybe I should do some trick shot minifigs for a video. So yeah, we'll get into it. I'll move these minifigs off to the side and this is our first one. This minifigure is the Lego Stars and Peel Death Trooper. You can see it's got a fabric shoulder guard. It's from 2016 in one set and that was Krennic and Peel Shuttle. This is a very good start because I actually don't have this minifigure and its price is around about $40. So a really good start. The next minifigure is a Lewis Lane from DC. She's got a black suit. This one is from 2016 in one set and that was Heroes of the Justice Sky High and it's around $6. The next figure is Agent Jack Fury from Ultra Agents. It's from 2014 in one set and that was Tremors Track Infiltration. Its price is around $3. The last main figure for the first bag is this Batman. Sadly you can see it does have a cracked chest, some bite marks on its head and it's missing its mask. This came out in 2012 in three different sets, the Batcave, Dynamark Geos, Funhouse Escape, Catwoman Sing. In this condition it's $1.50, could be $6 if it was complete. Now we'll move on to the second bag. Again this is $20, all of them are $20, so we'll get straight into it, we'll open it up and we'll pour them out. It's a good start to the video, because the first bag was $29.50 all up. Now we'll get on to this one. So we've got a few mini figure weapons, we've got this crossbow for 25 cents. Color Ren's lifesaver that it's worth two dollars. This blaster twenty five cents, and this stud shooter that's worth five cents. We'll move them over there. Now moving on to the first minifigure of bag two, it's the Scare Security Guard from the Lego Batman movie from two thousand and seventeen. It was in one set, and that was Scarecrow's special delivery. I actually own that set, and it's priced around thirteen dollars. Next up, we've got Anne Lee from Monster Fighters. It's missing a hair, sadly. It's from 2012, two sets, Ghost Train and The Mummy. It's priced around $3, $1.50 without her hair. Next up, I'm going to add these two together. It's a cop and a rubber, obviously from Lego City theme. I don't know what sets these ones are from, so I'm just going to say they're around $2 each. And I'll chuck them there. So $4 all up for both of them. So that's the end for the second bag. It didn't go as well as the first bag because this one only was worth $21. So $1. Hopefully I have a bit more luck with the last bag. Again, $20, we'll get this one open and we'll hopefully get some good minifigs in this. And here's the first minifigure. This is a Lego Star Wars Ray. It's from 2017. It's in two sets. First Order Heavy Assault Walker and Snoke's Throne Room. You see double face and her price around $17. The next figure out of the bag is a Stone Army Scout from Ninjago. It's not complete, it's missing its hat and it's got the wrong legs. It's in three different sets here and it's worth one dollar because of that. The next minifigure is from the Ultra Agents theme and it's Agents Curtis Bolt. It's from 2014 from one set and that was Ultra Agents Mission HQ. And it's priced around about four dollars. But I actually really like the goggles on this minifigure. Now onto the last minifigure and this is Agent Solomon Blaze, another Ultra Agents from 2014 figure. He is from four different sets and that was anti Mass Portal Wipeout, Inferno's Interception, Ultra Agents Mission HQ, Ultra Agents vs Antimatter, and his price is $1.80 without hair. Also the last thing is this Kylo Ren helmet from 2015. This was the first ever Kylo Ren helmet and it's priced around about $4. So overall not too bad, some good figures, a lot of mere figures and missing pieces and broken figures. So the last bag ended up being worth $27.80, so I made $7.80 on that lot. So overall I made a profit of $39.30. Not great, not bad, but I'm definitely going to be keeping these two styles because I actually don't have them in my collection, so that's worth it. So these ones basically are worth the whole thing, the rest are absolute junk. If you want the junk ones, you can find them on my brick link. For the figures that are good, because the other ones are generally ending up in a broken Lego bin. So tell me what you think of this lot. Should I buy some more if I can find them on the charity shop or should I buy the whole lot? But that's it. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.